Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I'm Big B. So we got the uh, Oxy Dean Marine Dominator out here at the Park Pond. Okay, we're gonna have a, a fun run real quick. I actually just got a new Oxy drive in the mail for this boat, so we'll be upgrading the Stinger uh, in an upcoming video. Today, we're actually going to run that boat, but first, I wanna look for I want to look for that prop in the prop shaft I lost yesterday from the TFL Ariane. Um, the water's really clear. Uh, I, this is my footprint getting in the pond. That's the footprints getting out the pond. Okay. Um, I had a lot of guys say that they seen the prop spin off, like like as I took off once I had moved up here on the hill. But um, it was. It, I, I looked at it. I looked, reviewed the footage a dozen times. I looked for about an hour after I, after it happened yesterday. And um, what you guys seen, what you guys seen, like blow off the prop. It was a. It was a leaf floating in the water. And when it when it took off, it looked like the prop had spun off. In the water. So about right in here, I would imagine, after I gave it some gas. Man, this water's cold. So it's actually Sunday today. Uh, there's a lot of people at the park today. So tomorrow, I'm going to come out here with a rake, maybe a net, maybe a magnet, and see if I can find it. Um, I, I, I just don't think I will. You know, I really don't, man. I would actually feel it right now if I were to run my foot across it. That blade sharp enough, it would probably cut my damn foot. <laughs> you know, I I'm just not seeing it, you guys. I'm just not seeing it. And I come around, I went here, come around the tree, and then I come back here. I, you know, I watched it. I watched that video clip about probably, I'm not even kidding, about 30 times. And you could see, you could actually see the spray spraying off of that left hand prop because it wasn't spinning. You could see the spray coming off around the buoy there. It was spraying about right here where my finger's at. And then all of a sudden, I had give it throttle and then you didn't see the spray. So I, I'm almost wanting to bet. I almost want to bet that, that prop is like right here somewhere. I come around the tree and I gave it one last blip to bring it home and I didn't see no spray coming off the prop. So I'm going to bring a rake out here and we're going to, we're going to look for it. This, this water is too cold to be swimming. Oh my God, what is this? Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Man, it would be nice. It would be nice, man. Cause that you know that prop and the shaft coming off it was uh it was it's probably it's 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 a cheap part but you figure you got to figure out i got to order the shaft which is 18 dollars with the shipping so that's what around just say 25 the prop it's 40 with shipping that's around 60 so 80 that's 80 nut drive dog teflon washer pack that's a hundred dollar loss it's a hundred dollar loss i don't see no reflection i don't see no shiny prop <laughs> i wish i did all right so let's get the dominator let's run the dominator all right so i'll go over my setup at the end of the video um a lot of my viewers you guys know what's in here tp power with the XLX2. Yep, I, I really, I really don't think we're gonna find that prop, you guys. I really don't. It's like a needle in a haystack. Even though I did just go around that tree, I mean, uh, at that tree right there, it's actually chest high, higher. It's actually higher than chest high at that tree. You know, it drops off about where that tree is and um I, i'm gonna go out there tomorrow up to my waist i'm not going no deeper you know 
and I'm, I'm sure because I had to give it throttle, like when it unspun from the cup, it, 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 it probably stayed in, in the, the barrel. And when I was giving it throttle to make it around the tree, that's when that prop come out, you know? I, I'm willing to bet it's either here when it happened or it's over here on that last throttle blip. Look at that turtle in front of my boat. All right, well, let's go. I got the, uh, I got the supersonic wake prop on here. The uh, 49 millimeter 14, I believe. Nice. Running good, boys. Yeah, I tell you what, Oxteen has a good boat. He builds a good boat, man. You know, he really does. And, uh, you know, a lot of people talk junk about Bill, but I, I tell you what, he builds a nice boat. Yeah, they're a little pricey. You, you pay for that nice boat, but, but it's worth it, you know? Like that $3,000 TFL Ariane, that boat should have been, I mean, I took every screw and bolt off that bolt, basically. That boat should have been ironclad. I mean, it, it, it really should have. Oh. Had a little glitch in my servo there. Had a little glitch in my servo there. Little glitch. Outside fin. A, a brushless motor. All right. Let's try it again. I got some 7,700 milliamp packs in here. And this will probably be my last rip. Maybe one more, let's do one more. Yeah, you guys want to see it? Did you guys you check it out? It. Boys, Jameson, you can look at it. Look how cool that is, huh? <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Y'all have a good day. All right, sorry, you guys. I was talking to that lady there. Um, <laughs> the kid, the boys, they wanted this thing on their Christmas list. <laughs> 109, 104, 94. 102 um i actually uh had a glitch in my servo and it only did it it only did it that one time i'm actually running these uh 7700 hcl hvc packs all right um same packs i got the uh 99 miles per hour with the um with the UL19. So I'll go over the, the boat real quick for those of you new to the channel. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like the videos. You know, it does help the algorithm get my videos out to a larger audience. More people in the boat, gang, you know? So I'm running the Hydra. I'm running a 4070 TP Power CM. It's 1400 KV. Uh, this motor is actually 12S capable. Um, I, I removed my coupler protector. This motor has an 8mm shaft, so I had to do that. 
but um, it actually worked out pretty good you know I actually had to cut that coupler protector in half to get it out so if you want to remove yours I, I recommend just cutting it in half you then cut this back piece off the retainer slide it in there cut this forward piece off and then bolt it back on and it's it's ironclad you know did have a couple of little glitches with that servo so we need to check that out um I, like i mentioned earlier i actually have a oxy drive at home we're going to replace the barrel and really all i really need to replace is this right here um i have some play this boat's about a year and a half two years old i got some play in my stinger you know and i've been running it like this i actually got like 91 <laughs> the other day and my stinger is just flopping around you know but uh I mean, hell, it, I've had to replace the, the bearings in this, bushings, uh, a couple times, you know, a couple flex cables. Yeah, so it, it's been through hell. I've actually removed this post and tried to, like, manipulate that aluminum and kind of close in that little hole, the eye. Uh, so I get it. I actually got it tight and it lasted for about a month of running, you know, and then it just slowly wore itself out again. So we're going to use the Oxy Drive. I just noticed this that must have happened in that 87 mile an hour crash the crash that I, I broke the damn battery straps remember I broke the battery strap the buckle and then I broke a strap in a hard crash last time out and um, yeah so if you have something like this happen I've these uh, trim tabs have actually been completely folded over like way down here so you just unscrew this screw I mean if they're like way out of whack you don't have to take them off but just unscrew the screw you don't have to take it all the way out and then just over bend the temp the tab trying to keep it, it creased right here keep it flat and then just run your screw back down into it and and it'll it'll work itself out you know um this this boat's been ironclad i mean it really has I, i've done some work to it like to the hull you know like reinforcing like i reinforced this brace right here top and bottom I reinforced the whole seam all the way around to the tip um, I've reinforced the seam on the transom the best I could that was really tough to get to uh, recently last week actually I actually reinforced the uh, the flood chamber wall right here took my carbon fiber epoxy mix and reinforced that 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 right there uh, all the way up to the tip I didn't do that last year when I did the, the seam I don't know if you could see it but i got some parts that fiberglass part and seam mounting tape i have it in this corner and i actually run it in this corner up here oh damn it's a big old oh that's that's sharp <laughs> but i run it all the way up here and on the bottom so the, this hull should be ironclad the only part of the hull i didn't reinforce is this outside seam right here um on the inside of the flood chamber I actually reinforced it too I went down the inside top and bottom I also took this battery tray off because I've never used it everybody's like oh that dominator don't self right it's the self right and down I run my batteries in the keel I've never used that battery tray over there I, I wish Bill would have sent me the the uh, the non self writing version I would have had a lot more room for setup you know but uh, I went ahead and epoxied the holes because it was screws and i just went ahead and epoxied them done you know get it out the way so yeah that's my dominator that's my dominator reinforce the the canopy there and next video we'll 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 run the um we'll we'll, we'll install and run the 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 oxy drives so i got the dominator back i was kind of like looking over my my servo the servo wire i actually have this little really short servo extension right here and well i'm just gonna unplug it and take it out and show you i think this is why i had a glitch figured i'd include this in the video so this is something to look for if you use corrosion x especially especially if you use corrosion x on your receiver or maybe your 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 JST connections here. Um, any corrosion X that gets on these wire sheaths, I'm telling you, it only takes about a year for them to crack. Okay, so I think I'm getting some 
what I think what I think goes on here it's it's called voltage leak or at least that's what I call it they they may not be in contact with one another but if any type of water might get on here then then it's gonna basically sh not so much short because it is it's probably not touching but the voltage is, is it's, it's 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 leaking onto one another <laughs> I don't know what to call it I mean I'm gonna be honest with you um, but I think that's where our our little uh, glitch come from okay and that's caused by it's it's caused from using corrosion X I know it is so we got an upgrade all right um, this is a oh shoot oh I can't remember the name of it oh I got it I got I got a bunch of these from um, uh, offshore electrics these these extensions actually come in handy quite often I actually need to pick up more um, I picked up three of them and I made me a Y harness with them <laughs> so I gotta get some more of them all right so now our next run we'll, we'll kind of check and you know feel it out see if we got any any voltage leak and well I've already treated the the female the female part so I'm actually going to treat this male part real quick this is what I do with my um, my dielectric grease I designated a brush for it and I just rolled up like that <laughs> all right so I just designated this brush so I'm not mucking around with uh, like plugging into another connector or whatnot. So that's her. That's that's done. All right. Actually, you know what? Yeah. You see that green? You see that green right there? That will also cause voltage leak. Okay. You see it inside that middle one? Real quick, like I'm actually gonna put some alcohol on this little connector here. Okay some alcohol on the connector I'm gonna try to get some in there I actually have this little guy right here I use it for a pot to clean off whatever's on there capillary tube with a little music wire in there and I use this to clean out my JSTs okay I got some alcohol on my table here so I'm just gonna dip it in the alcohol and I'm gonna go in each one of these JST like holes here. Uh, I, I roughed it up with the sandpaper for one to clean it, and two it roughs it up, so it actually will kind of knock off. It'll kind of knock off any corrosion that's in here, and we'll get like a a nice contact, you know? Boom, boom, boom. But that, where that turn fin got me twice, man. <laughs> that freaking area. In. All right, so I'm gonna knock this again. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna go ahead and treat it with the dielectric grease. Okay. Get it in those holes and get us a. A nice I've already put a glob on here take two take two you know but get us a nice glob put it in our in our um, our uh, female side male depending on how you want to look at it female connector male pins <laughs> all right and I think I had it going, going around here really don't need one this long when you when you use extensions use an extension that's pretty much the same the right length like like all I needed for this boat was this little one so if you use a long one then you're going to increase the internal resistance but I mean you know I mean these, these six volts I mean come on <laughs> you know so I'm going to kind of plug it in a couple times here boom 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 and we'll test it the next outing um, I'm, I'm going to order a couple more of these short ones because they actually come in handy quite often. You know, oh so. yeah! So before I let you go, I just wanted to show you guys the the Oxy Drive. 
Okay, this is a ball bearing drive for the for the uh, Dominator. All right, so it's actually pretty nice. Um, this you you don't you don't have to take the base off. Really, you could just change the barrel. Really, all I need is this piece right here, like I mentioned earlier. But um, I kind of want to put the whole the whole stinger on there so it all matches. You know, we'll see. We'll see. Also, got a set of cables for the animal. I have some chatter in my right hand drive line, and I got the cable so I can see if it's the cable that's wanting the chatter or if it's actually something in my drive line that needs to be addressed. So we'll be doing that. That I also have the um, the 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 boom tube retainers and boom tube collars for the scorpion outrigger coming so we got some work to do on some oxygen boats so uh, we'll see you next time like the video comment in the video subscribe thanks for watching